Let's jump right in and start with an RPG Nerdo ship as usual. And the RPG Nerdo ship today is called the, uh, on the box.com, it's called the Warper Ship. The Cumulus, I'm not sure what that word means. <laughs> or the Timeless Cruiser. Uh, let's see what this one's got going on. It looks really cool. I like this green and black look. Got kind of a radi radioactive glow going on. This, fu this vessel's futuristic look is accompanied by something unusual, an overclocked temporal manipulator system, interesting, that can skip certain amount of time or freeze it. Master it and gain the feel for your boarding crew's capabilities, all in order to achieve, s achieve swift and painless victories. Interesting. The robe looks comfy. Well, it's not a robe. It's a Snuggie. It's a Snuggie. That's right. Your best friend's getting married, and he asked you to be the best man. Wow, that's nice, Grima. Congrats to you and your best friend. Uh, it's because Taylor Swift is going to propose to Rand live when he completes his cycle. She's just waiting. That's right. What's up, HDD? Uh, let's see. This ship looks really cool, man. Look at that. Wow, that's really clean looking. I like that ship design. The lines are clean. It's very, um, like, the gradient of the colors is really good. Looks, that's a gorgeous looking ship, RPG. Uh, what do we have? We have a life form scanner. We have a Zoltan Shield Bypass. Looks like some sort of boarding plus temporal manipulator build. Pretty powder of it yourself? Yeah, it's really cool looking. We have a Breach Bomb Mark I. We have a Coral Launcher. Two projectiles. Extra damage accrue. Chance for Breach. Uh, does not pierce any shields. Only 12 second charge time. We have two Rebellion Officer crew. These guys are really strong, I'm pretty sure, because they're the ones we have a hard time killing when we board uh, the boss, the uh, flagship in RPG Nerdo's mod. So all skills are maxed. They take less damage in crew combat and reduce damage from environment and have more max health. But they cannot board hostile vessels. Interesting. So they can't board. I thought I was supposed to board, and we have a mechanic. Huh. Can't board hostile vessels. This only affects hostile rebellion officers. So we can board. So these guys can't board when they are the enemies, I guess. Ran Snuggie sponsor. I wonder if Snuggie still makes stuff. I've had this thing for like, I don't know, 10, 15 years or something. Black plus neon green is such a great color combo. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can board with these guys. And is the Temporal Manipulator any different? Every bar of power means 15 seconds of time skipped forward up to 45 seconds, or a time freeze of last 10 seconds. Huh. I'm not quite sure what that means. Time skipped forward. I'm a little afraid of what that means, actually. A little afraid of how that works. All right, well, let's see how this... Cumulus... Cumulus... It's supposed to be like a... Aren't there like cumulus clouds or something? I wonder if it's something like that. Um, we probably get the thing. Crew is uh, less. Like it seems like I'm supposed to breach my enemies. Feels like maybe I'm supposed to uh, breach our enemies here and fight in a no health. Almost like we're playing like. Um, like Alanius B type of ship or something. Interesting, these guys' shields go away when they're uh, manning a system. That's interesting. Nice door layout. Uh, you don't know that Razor has started creating ships to FTL. <laughs> Razor, yeah, the mouse. Uh, yeah. I have a Razor mouse right here. I tried to put it in front of the camera, but uh, I, my the little cord is too short. But yes, <laughs> a Razor mouse. Basically, if you speed up time, next 15 seconds happens in one second. Each bar of power adds 15 seconds to happen through one second. That's crazy. All right, so somebody wanted to be the pilot. Who wanted to be the pilot? I think it was BJA. All right. And then Grima, are you sure you want to be these humans? These are actually useful humans, so... You might not get vented here. These are rebel officers. This is a mechanic. Mechanics repair all super fast. 
and have a sentry ability. Pretty cool. Went toward auto ships. You can freeze time once your guys get low, so temporal manipulator both speed up and slow down will do wonders. Have a challenge with zero venting. I don't know, that doesn't sound like fun at all. I want to vent. Alright, we have backup battery. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. I have no idea how this temporal manipulator later is gonna work. I'm a little afraid. Okay, he's got a missile. I'm gonna hack weapons. Well, that effing sucks. Um, if I speed up time, what's gonna happen here? Oh, that's what's gonna happen. Holy shnikes, okay. Wow, I have... You gave the ship, like, no missiles. Holy crap. Uh, okay. I do not have a Zoltan shield, even though it seems like I should have a Zoltan shield. Okay. Do we have a heal bay or a clone bay? We have a heal bay. Okay. Okay, bring them back, go heal, and we got a free crew, okay, nice. Uh, I know, right into a solar flare, it's, it was a four solar flare too, wasn't it? Yeah, four solar flare, oh well. Speed up time and heal bait, well that's a good idea. Okay, well, <laughs> have you on weapons, I guess. Okay. Remember the active med bay adds 10 max HP. I, yeah, I'm... I know you do that, RPG Nerdos. I'm never gonna just leave power and heal bay unless you give the ship, like, three extra power. Because I need all of my other systems more. I just... I know you're trying to get the player to want to put power and heal bay, but it's not... It just hardly ever feels worth it when I need all of my other systems powered. So you need to give the ship more power if you want the player to actually use that. And I I mean I know you also make power cost less, but it just it just doesn't feel worth it unless I have like NGs who are gonna die without it. It's stronger than I think. I mean I just killed three mantis without it. I don't think I need it. Kind of doesn't matter that it's stronger than I think, because I don't need it. If it's stronger than I think, but I don't need it, then what's the purpose? I'm just wasting power on it. We already have enough tools that I just don't, I just don't need it. Fine. Sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, it's like, it's like telling me that in vanilla FTL, um, missiles are stronger than I think. I, I, it's still, they're still finite. I, I don't, unless with fully trained fighting dudes that have the bonuses that you give them, I just, I don't. I don't, I don't need it. Does the mechanic have a debuff to combat like an NG? Uh, he has a mechanic where he will ignore enemies and summon a sentry. The only... F I don't know. I don't... 10 extra health. I guess if I'm not using hacking, I can turn it on. Uh. But if my dudes never get below like 75 health, it just feels like the power's not needed. Uh, 0.85 combat effectiveness on the engineer. Okay, there you go. And balance O2. I don't know what you mean. Turn my O2 on and off? I, again, I don't 
see a reason that I need to do that. There it is, we got it. Sorry, RPG, you feel offended that I don't find the upgrade to heal bay worth. I, I don't mean to offend you. I just I just don't find it super strong. Sorry. No offense no offense no offense attended. Alright, speed up time. There we go. They have billy sticks, they do. They're very strong borders. Alright, um, I want to get shields. And again, sadly, this is another reason why I don't think I'd rather have my power in heal bay. I'd, need, I'd rather have my shields online than have the heal bay online. Have you got a new update? No, I'm playing viewer ships, which are ships created by our awesome viewers. It's modded FTL, which basically is FTL too. I think Rand will truly appreciate the minor human buff you gave, either simply because the other races are better. You don't think Rand will truly? No, I probably won't. I mean, they're humans. I like the speed up time thing, it's pretty crazy. I definitely like that. Here's to see how the slowing down time will work, though. Here's how that will work. So nothing happens in a room. So it's a way to stop them from getting vented or dying to a solar flare to buy you time. That's pretty interesting. It's pretty crazy. Is it possible to power the heal bay for the 10 HP, then move power out once it's gone? I'm pretty sure it's a percentage thing, so... Here. No, they lose. It's a percentage thing, so it, it, you, can't, you can't do it that way. It instantly takes away that percentage extra health or whatever. I don't know how to explain that well, but... Aren't the upgraded humans, depending on what they are, just human version of other races? They even get some of their blue option this mod, if I recall. Yeah, I think, I think like, the engineer human has some similar shared abilities with the NG. Do quest marker okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Store with twenty-seven scrap. Do I want to keep the life form scanner? I think I want to get rid of it just so I have a free augment slot. The I have a feeling something to bypass in the oceanic insignia. I'm gonna to want to internalize. How much does it cost to internalize that, though? 27. <laughs> wow, my exact scrap. Okay. Okay, enter. I'm going to sell the lifeform scanner. As cool as it is, we don't have mind control to really make use of it. So I'm going to sell that. I'm not going to internalize the oceanic insignia yet but I would like to keep it I am gonna buy power so yeah I kind of want the weapon upgrade so I can have the breach and the bomb let's do that first I can back a battery teleporter to use 
Uh, powering up the med bay is at least a semi-instant heal. True, true. If we're getting super low, like, I guess, I guess I could treat the powering heal bay like an oh crap button. Like, if they're getting super low, I can turn on the heal bay, they'll gain 10 extra health. Is that how it works? One oh three. It's not actually ten health, is it? The lower the get, the lower the bonus because it's a percent bonus. Yeah, it's actually not ten health. It's it's percentage, and that's math, and I'm not gonna be able to figure that out. But yes, it's like an oh crap button. Yeah, like a shield or something, I guess. Oh, another score. Um, okay, alright. Guy can't damage me. Let's see what the border's first. They're getting, they're getting vented for science, yes. Uh, disc, the disciple priest's math, yeah, with the shields. Um, either way, higher temporal manipulator levels lets you kill crew and potentially damage systems with speed up before other crew rise. Yes, I definitely want to upgrade the temporal. I definitely want that, because that's super strong. Because it lasts longer, right? Look at the upgrades. Oh, it doesn't last longer. It freezes or speeds up even faster. Wow, it's like... This is basically Temporal Manipulator turned up to 11. To 11. Alright. Uh, store 27 scrap. Isn't Temporal a multiverse thing? No, it is a hyperspace thing. That t that multiverse, I'm not sure if it uses or not. Get a free burst laser one. It was actually created by Swift Tiger, I believe, who is the main dev for uh, hyperspace, if I'm not mistaken. What's your specialty? Doors for nine? That's actually a really good deal. I think, actually I can't remember how much your doors are, but I'm pretty sure they were, were not cheaper than nine. What if I have Zeltan or Pyro Control? Do we have Zeltan Shield Bypass? Uh, but I kind of just don't even want to deal with Zeltan. Let's go Pirate. Still can't seem to get what the two, what has one versus the other. Yeah. And I could be wrong, I, 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 but I know hyperspace was created, hy, hyperspace devs created Temporal Manipulator because we showed it off at the first tournament. I do not want to risk my crew here. I think it was first shown off at our tournament uh, a couple years ago, and that was super cool. What's up, Gunther? How's it going? Honestly, I'm kind of tired. I've been... I've been feeling a little overwhelmed lately with uh, streaming. Maybe it's stress from uh, lost runs or what, but I've been a little overwhelmed lately, so I might have to do some shorter streams. Next week I have I have a doctor's appointment for the first time in years next week, and I have a gig next week, so I'm going to have to either miss or shorten some streams next week. But I've been really tired lately. All right, what do I want to do here? Um, I feel like speeding up time in the heal bay could be really sketchy. Okay, I think they killed them fast enough they couldn't run... No, I think they did run out of the room, actually. There we go. Uh, that did not kill the heal bay. Yeah, 
I'm afraid to use a speed up time when my guys are a little low. Here, this is for you, RPG. I've turned on their high health. <laughs> I upgraded their health. There we go. I don't know if I did anything, but I did it. Uh, you got back to multiverse. You're amazed how much has changed since the last time you played. How's the voice stuff going? Uh, there's not much going on with voice stuff right now. It's just my church job and <laughs> like this random gig that we're gonna do for a an office birthday thing next week. So not much going on. Take care of yourself. I know. I might I might need to take a just a bonus day of not streaming in the next week and a half or so because I've been like really tired lately. I might just need to take a a one day staycation or something. Still can't get over seeing an end game run in multiverse with six tiles, zero cooldown teleporters using twelve crew and still having like six more for system. Some mods as you can say have too much bloat. Do that, Grima says. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'll do that, but I might do that soon. They're just pirates. It's like, which day would I take off? I feel like any day I take a day off of streaming, I'm disappointing somebody who enjoys me doing something on stream. <laughs> you know, if I do a not, if I do an FTL day, everybody loves FTL. I'll miss. If I do a WoW day, I won't be able to play with Paul or the people who enjoy that. So I don't know. I don't know what. I just need to take a day off of something. And if I take a day off of a viewership day, I will miss somebody who's really been looking forward to me playing their ships, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe see the question, where did you get your fabulous top hat? Um, the fabulous top hat that I used for Christmas caroling, I got at a vintage, vintage store place in Dallas called... Well, what is it called? It's on I-75. It's called Vintage or something. It's on I-75. If you go to Dallas on Google Maps, go to I-75 and look south of Sam Rayburn Tallway. There's a place called Vintage or something like that. I forget what it's called. Is it real beaver skin? I don't. Probably not. I don't think it's beaver skin. Are top hats made of beaver skin? You should take a day off if you need it. You're just a normal human, not the Sigma NG. Uh, I'm not sure when I will. Maybe maybe I'll take a day off this week. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, search for the ship. Yay, five free hull damage. OG top hats were beaver skin. I doubt it's real beaver skin. I doubt it. Did I ever go to Free Play or Cidercade again? It's been a while since I've been there. Uh, I don't remember the last time I went, to be honest. It's been it's been a couple years. I keep hoping the dating sites I'm on all meet, you know, cute nerdy girl who wants to go to Cidercade with me, and that hasn't happened yet. So, <laughs> uh, I don't have mind control. We'll do Tiro Bears here. I don't trust speeding up time here. I don't trust it. We'll give the people the health here, though. But uh, I've never actually been to free play, but I've been to Cidercade a couple times. Could have sped up time while they were venting. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Could have done that. Misplay, not fully optimized. Hey, I do like the four-person heal day, though. Very nice. Save time from rock taking an hour to, to heal. Good. All right, still no store. Let's get some power. Uh, all right, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Upgrade the temporal manipulator. How much does it cost? 40. 
Let's hold off. I want to see if there's a door here. Okay. We should be pretty safe to do this because... Um, these guys, we have multiple ways of making them take less health damage from this. Well, let's do what um, RPG Nerdos mentioned. We can stop time here. After they kill us, though. That stops them from going down. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool mechanic there. Oh, that's weird. The teleport doesn't go off until... Wow, that's a weird mechanic. If I teleport them while time stopped, the animation is stopped so they don't actually teleport over. That's a weird mechanic. That's a weird mechanic, man. Okay. It stops the animation so the teleporter, conceivably, I guess you could teleport multiple people. I don't know. That's that's a weird interaction there. An interesting interaction. Wonder what happens if the enemy ship dies when they are in temporal flux being teleported. I have they I have a feeling they would die. My guess. Because they'd be on the ship. Now. Okay. The temporal manipulator is honestly a little scary. It's a little scary if like we get like a an anti-personnel drone in there or something. Okay. That gets us ahead on that. Give them the max health there. Here we go. We're starting to see the max health at least be semi-useful. Versus some of these rock dudes. Alright, free. Weapon is always good. Heal quickly to get out before solar flare. Ah, uh, wait, I don't get out before solar flare because of the charge time. Um... You just heard a lot of space time screeching in pain. Is that weird? <laughs> uh, watch streak reached 40 stream streak taters. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you for all the watching. Thank you. I've had the time of my life. All right. Uh, transformative laser. We have enough weapons, I think, right now. Oh, and we could just buy one right here. Clone Bay. So do we want a Clone Bay for a boarding crew? I prefer to heal them if I don't have a uh, reconstructive teleport, but I could do giant alien spiders and a bunch of other stuff if I buy Clone Bay. Can you speed up time in the Clone Bay to make it clone things faster? Can you? I know you can speed up time in the heal bay. I think you might be able to turn clone bay on. T temporal on clone bay to make it go faster. You know what? Let's test it. I think this works. Do these guys lose training when they die? Is that one of their bonus things that they don't lose training when they die? I don't know. I feel like there's some something in one of your mods that makes it so you don't lose training when you die. I speed up time while you're at work. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Alright, we're gonna test this on the rock because I don't want to lose my, um... I don't want to lose my training on those guys. Okay, I'm gonna speed up time here. You need an augment for them to not lose training? Okay. Oh wow, this takes forever because I have uh, uh, basically emergency respirators. 
All right, let's see if this works. All right, so watch the clone bay. See if this timer goes faster. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Cool, so at least now it's not going to take forever to refresh our dudes every time. Now, I, I really do want to upgrade Temporal Manipulator now with how, how, how flexible and fast that is. Nice camera vent. I don't know what that means. Okay, they have boarded me, bro. Beep, 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 beep. Wonder what the space station crew thinks. Sir, they've opened the airlock. Okay. Is that for an event you're talking about? It's ship. We're immune to damage. Okay, somebody told me... Somebody on YouTube said if you turn V-Sync off, you can run... I'm, I'm worried about this. Uh, you can run speed hack on this, on hyperspace. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test this. Somebody turn up, told me on YouTube said if you turn this off, this works. It works! I can train on hyperspace now. Okay. I'm a little worried about that. I don't know. I think that setting will stay. I don't want it to crash my vanilla. I think the settings between hyperspace and non-hyperspace stay, stay the same. We can finally train in vanilla, everybody. Okay. All right. Whoever told me that on YouTube, props to you. Turn V-Sync off. Makes us able to do training in hyperspace now. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, time warp on the time warp run. Time warp squared. Yes. Ooh, nice triple reward there. Interesting. There's no um, teleporter animation for the rebellion officers. I guess that's something you have to specifically program or something. Mantis or home world. Oh, Mantis home. Yeah, let's go get Kazak. Yeah. Level two clone me to get Kazak. Let's do it. Probably shouldn't have done that right before going to the store, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Uncapping frames is usually only dangerous on games that use frame count for timing based things. Okay. get that. I might end up using these weapons. Let me buy some extra fuel. Fair. Open for long range scanners gives a better chance of finding Kazak. Uh, it's gonna just com be, be completely random if we find Kazak, sadly. Uh, it happens a lot of old ported games that were never made to go past 30 frames. You'll just clip through the floor. It's hilarious. Interesting. Uh, he has a heal bay. Uh, let's kill the boarding first. Quickly. Um, let me do this. Shouldn't be able to dodge. Nice. Swap him. Solar Flare. Man, venting these guys to kill them is not gonna work, actually, because emergency respirators that we have makes that take forever. I really want to get Reconstructor Teleporter on this run, actually. Uh, some semi-Tom Howard drama. Starfield is capped at 60 frames because probably the game setting is linked to those frame counts, which is kind of a no-no for freaking AAA title, really. Uh, I saw, I saw a video about 
Something about um, some developer guy claiming that they had the first quadruple A title or something. Did anybody see that? Claiming it was the first quadruple A title and that's why, I don't know, it costs extra money or something like that. $70 game, some pirate game or something, I don't know. I'm gonna, you know what? Let's freeze time. I'll move these guys up here. Here, we're using the freeze time ability as intended. There. Um, it's only an issue if you link the gameplay to the frame rates, huh? Okay. Man, I could really use some reconstructive for my boarding dudes. Although, I guess I'm just gonna refresh them. I hate it, but I'm gonna refresh these guys. I'm gonna lose all that training. Huh. Doesn't last long enough to do two there. Um, uh, Makes four-man boarding possible. Yeah! Very scuffed four-man boarding. You <laughs> Freeze time. To give time for the other two boarders to get over there. Being a triple A games are already burning garbage heaps. You do not want to know what a quadruple A title is. Yeah, some game I, I saw uh, it was a Asmund Gold thing. So this is some pirate game that's from Ubisoft. Apparently, just recently came out and it's a seventy dollar game and the. Uh, Apparently the, the dev said something about the reason it took so long and cost so much is because it's a, the first 4A game or something ridiculous. Which everybody's making fun of that, you know, statement. Uh, double A and triple A are battery types. <laughs> true, true. Uh, there's an FPS out there. You can't recall its name. It's so hyper-realistic, people just can't tell it from Unreal Engine. Quadruple A is a sound you make when you buy a quadruple A game and realize that you, what, your $100 actually got you. Yeah. Oh, I'm venting my own dudes here. Here in Germany, Ubisoft has the name of Ubi Schrott, translated Ubi Scrap. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's my next upgrade here? Let's get let's get the uh, temporal upgrade with some power. Let's do it. Let's see what this thing could really do. Can someone mi make Minecraft in the Unreal Engine? Yeah, I've also seen, um, was it Ocarina of Time? One of the, what is it, the N64? Um, thing that somebody spent years on a project making Unreal 5 looks amazing. Hey, Kazakh Pleth Killick, we found him. Nice. All right, we get Kazakh. We need a spiritual successor to Ubisoft called Ubi Hard. <laughs> okay. Troll a lull. All right, I need my clone bay to be fixed before I go over here, I guess. Speed up time to fix that quickly. Hit him with your stick! Oh wait, these don't pierce. For some reason, I thought these pierced. Okay, I think we just win this. Let's um, home base fixed. I'm not gonna speed up time. All right, there we go. Quickly, teleportation crew check for survivors. Quickly, configure the calamity to save him. Your haste is paid off. 
All right, beautiful. We now have two external augments. I don't know if I care about... Um, something. I don't know if I care about something. Nice. Uh, keeping the speed up ones. I'm not sure if I care about those. Um, quadruple A sounds like the writer was trying to write something but couldn't finish it before getting eaten. Ah, nice. I'm gonna also make Doom in a Minecraft world. Doom runs on everything, and that runs on Doom is no surprise. <laughs> Making Doom run on everything is a cult challenge. I love seeing it in strange places. For sure, some school kids run Doom on their Texas instrument calculators in school. It's <laughs> funny. All right, so we just got this. Let's, uh, I wanna keep, do I wanna keep this? It makes my guys not be able to be vented very quickly, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and internalize that. So this, this, internalize Janik and Sigma. Not sure if I'm going to internalize the uh, Mantis pheromones for run speed or not. Favorite so far, seeing it on a fridge. What, Doom run on a refrigerator? Hey, my Rockman could do this? Oh, uh, borders. Okay, that's fine. Mantis chose the wrong ship to get open out of a stasis pod on. That's, that just doesn't make sense. I think all self-referencing referencing games are great. Alright, we got a free Pegasus. Not bad, not bad. Mantis pheromones do more stuff here than in vanilla. Oh, they do? Hey, Mantis for giant alien spiders. Nice. All right, all right. Kazak taking care of the giant alien spiders. What do they do? Non-drone crew is faster. Does more damage in melee and sabotage is faster. Range damage is reduced. Oh, gosh. Um, interesting. Do I want to keep that then? It reduces our range damage. It increases our melee damage. Well, I guess most of my boarding is going to be 2v2, so I guess I probably do want to keep that. So sure. Sure, we'll keep it. So I just need to remember, don't fight at range. It will actually make you lose the fight or be worse at the fight. Makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Wow, look at all these blue options we got. You can't see how Mantis would be any good at using guns with their sword arms. True, true. Okay, he has a heal bay. So what I have to do is I need to manually do this. Okay. Um. Wow, how many crew does this guy have? I guess he only has three, it just looked like he had more. Or it looked like he only had whatever. Now when we 2v1, Fucking we're actually... It, what the actual fuck? Oh yeah, there was an update to the missile mod. I wonder... Let me look at the internal augments. 25 more damage in melee. 40% less damage in range. So I actually do less damage 2v1 now than I did before. We do more damage 2v2, but we do less damage 2v1. That's an interesting bit of math, I guess. I think that's correct. Ooh, flow guarded rock or fallen rebel. Uh, I don't want either of those. I guess I go rock. Can we get one more system? No, okay. So no cloaking on this ship. Hmm. Force red or force green. I guess I'll go force green. Yeah, stronger in an even fight, slightly weaker in an uneven fight, it seems. 
Sure, have some fuel. 40 scrap, nice. 20 scrap per fuel, I'll take that deal. I'll buy that for a dollar. Well, that's some burst lasers you got there, sir. All right. Nice. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay, let's get ourselves an NG. Are we max crew now? Almost. But we do have a silly device. Full trained repair silly device even. Okay. Um, you have a lot of well, power, I guess, maybe. It does have a heal bay. I'm not gonna do this fight. Hopefully it's not a level two heal bay, I guess. Good. No repairs allowed. Nice. How many YouTubers that want to be Kazak? Um, I don't do YouTube names on viewership day because I'm pretty sure, just like on Twitch, most of the views I get on YouTube are for my hard mode no pause days. So I just, I just don't do renames on viewership day for um, YouTube requests. Manly search, we got Clone Bay. All right. But it's a good reminder. I don't actually think I even have any Kazakh requests right now. Well, that is some weapons right there. Okay, let's, um... How dangerous is it to speed it? Speed up time here to kill his weapons really quickly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it worked, but they will get refreshed. Poor guys. Okay. <laughs> Probably a little sketchy uh, play right there. All right, six missiles. Let's save our missiles. Okay. Well, maybe I won't save my missiles. Please don't dodge. All right, level two heal bay or pilot, thankfully. And because somebody on YouTube or here will probably ask, can you speed up weapons with a temporal manipulator? No, you cannot. Just in case anybody was wondering. You, that is not possible, it'd be too OP. Oof, good thing we dodged that or else next mini beam shot might have damaged us. You were actually wondering that, select time, oh nice. <laughs> there you go, there's your answer. Uh, thank you for the tier one sub, Dennis Caliber. Uh, hack the station. We delayed for one drone part. Very nice. What about artillery? No, nah, it'd be the same issue. It wouldn't work on artillery. I'm 97.35% sure. Thank you for the follow. Backtrack for that artillery. Um. Since I don't have cloak, do I want to get third shield right now? I'd still have a hundred scrap. 
about. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And also for the follow. <laughs> Subscribe before the follow. That's the correct order right there. That is the correct order. Uh, reject. Reject again. This this is a this is a a jebait. If it shows the crew, then you take him and it works. If it doesn't show the crew, then this is fake. And he's uh, you need to kill him. So kill the stupid human. All right. Um, I'm just gonna hack your shields. So I hope we don't have to breach here. Do this. Actually. Very nice. I might not even need to do that now. Okay, one more missile to make the fight safe, hopefully. There it is. Um... Mantis pheromones makes that a little sketchy there. There we go. Now we can speed up time. We're good. Oh wait, they got out of the room really fast though. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I guess speeding up time works both ways. It kills them fast, but if they try to leave for a heal bay, they'll get out of the door quickly. So not foolproof there. That is a lot of pew punage, so. Mac weapons, board weapons, like we're playing vanilla. Very nice. Now the fight is safe. Beautiful. I do want to um, eventually. I want to get some weapon upgrades. We're going to check the store next. I guess I could freeze time. If I freeze time and then move in, do I get frozen too? Yes, I do. Okay. Another interesting mechanic there. Probably worth doing. This will be the way to do the four-man boarding. Like, um, uh, uh, RBG Nerdos was talking about. Hack the med bay, and when they heal, speed it up for insta kill. <laughs> yeah, that would probably work. And right, let's refresh this guy. Oh, I have to wait for it to start. His animation was so slow that it didn't actually work. Oh well. Guess it doesn't like work like that though. Uh, if you hacked Heedle Bay and used the speed up time, it would it would kill them really fast. It would work that way. Also, freeze time if you want to catch all enemy crew and blast them with a crew killing weapon, or just generally blast them all somehow. Uh, is that what your idea was behind the coral? Freeze them in a room and then shoot them. Interesting. Cool idea. There's a pulsar that I probably don't want to deal with. You need more PP to make that work? Yeah, for sure. I need to get through the shield somehow. Automated reloader. Yeah, I'll take an automated reloader. Pair. And, oh, this is that really good thing, actually. Shows me all the jumps and I can jump anywhere. Yeah, that's really good. It's my last augment slot, so I might have to sell another augment if I get something, but... Really good. Alright, um, I wanted to get something. I'm gonna get some weapon upgrades. Go like this for now, I guess. Really cool ship, RPG. Really cool. I, I'm liking this one a lot. Especially just the visuals of it are so 
pretty very pretty ship um I wonder if there's a way I could freeze them outside of the calm bay for me to fill the calm bay I like trap them out of the room hmm that kind of works Kind of works. I don't know if it lasts long enough for this to really do what I wanted to do, though. We'll see. Oh, that's a fire. I didn't see it until too late. Okay, it worked enough to get level one off. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm using it in some slightly different ways that are hopefully more creative and more as designed. And they have repair drone damn it. Nice. Alright, a human who will be on sensors and be very useless. Mentis pheromone savage damage. Mentis pheromone sabotage damage coming in clutch. Oh yeah, that's true. I, uh, I, I forgot that makes it sabotage faster. Still not fast enough for higher level clone bays, but I guess what I could do is I could just hack to lock down a room and then double lock it down by slowing down time. Something like that if I wanted to. Alright. Uh, well, the only way to get three is to go through a pulsar. I just don't even want to mess with a pulsar, honestly. Also freeze clone bay if enemies are cloning in it, if you need more time to kill it with weapons. Oh yeah, since you can speed up our clone bay, you can stop their clone bay. I didn't think about that. Okay. Oh, it's a Lanius bomber. Wait, a Lanius bomber in a non lanius sector? What? I don't know if I can crew kill these guys or not. Okay, all right, we made the fight safe. Um. Do this. I want to 1v2 these guys and speed up time. So what I wait, what I'm doing here is I'm waiting for the door to close here. There. Speed up time. Okay, all right. This will work. Takes a little bit of time, but we'll get there. We'll get the crew kill. Your upgraded heavy ion is showing what it can do here. Okay. Nice. Whew, nice reward, too. Okay. Uh, ladies have been nerfed, as you can see. No, my control of these fools. Oh, folks. <laughs> oh, you nerfed Lania's bombers. Okay, all right. I could still go to the pulsar, but meh. Meh. This is our fun day. I'm not going to do something like go to a pull star for no reason. All right. Uh, freaking annoying Rebel Raiders. Um, you know what? Let's try the let's try the heal bay thing you were talking about earlier. Or somebody mentioned speeding up. If I do that, forward in here. We open the door. We speed up time while hacking. <laughs> it was basically an insta kill. 
That's pretty good. Pretty good. Basically an insta kill. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, you remove the mind control and you nerf some other stuff on uh, Lanius bombers. You think? Cool. Hope I didn't finish repairing that. There's a game that I think would be fun to play with viewers at some point, since we have so many lovers of FTL style games here. Because uh, I've been playing off stream every once in a while with uh, my friend Tim and Shogi sometimes a game called Void Crew. I feel like that might be a fun one to play with viewers at some point. Because it's basically FTL in first person um, that you can play with up to four people. It's a really cool game. Rock or Rebel? Ugh, I don't like either of these. Um... I don't want cloaking with missiles, but I also don't like Lanius or uh, Rebel Riggers and Disruptors, so uh, I don't know where to go. I guess I go with Rebel. Their Paradorn didn't even get the dent out. In danger, Will Robinson, yes. Speaking of viewer participation, Slayer Spire has a PvP mode out, or mod out. It's amazing. Really? PvP, Slay the Spire. I have no idea how that would work. I'll have to watch some people play that or something, I guess. Oh, what do I want to do here? Um, what upgrades? I'm going to get a little more dodge and power for a bit here, since we don't have missile defense apart from hacking. Well, Ramsey sent me a really... A message with a really cool idea for uh, like a fun stream thing to do that I might have to that that would be like a nostalgia type thing at some point I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to give away Ramsey's idea but there might be a fun nostalgia based viewer thing we do at some point in the near future Uh, okay. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna do this. Okay. Alright, good. That makes the fight safe. You post a link to your favorite Slay Spire streamer with a video of it. He's a bit silly, but he gets the word out there. Uh, if you're gonna send that to me... Whisper it to me. Uh, I mean, you can put it in chat if other people are interested. In it, but I won't. I won't look at it unless you whisper it to me on Twitch because I'll forget to look at it unless you whisper it. So I would be interested in checking it out. Perfect timing, damn. About time to get our whole laser up with these other weapons. These auto scouts are slow and annoying to kill. Uh, you sent the whisper, and you can for chat. If folks are interested, you wouldn't want to overstep. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. No story up. Let's do that. Okay, I'll even click on it to maybe remember to check it out later. Alright, 64 scrap.
Okay. Take out the missile. These poor rebel officers. We just keep sending them into <laughs> places where they're losing all their training. Sad, sad. Sad for them. That was a lot of dodges. And the missile's back up. What? What? I guess I have to hack it to keep it from being repaired quickly. Okay, now it's breached. Now no repairs allowed. Place by our community really does have some amazing modders. This yearly big mod... The yearly big mod added weather to the map with a ton of amazing events. Wow, that's crazy. Weather to the Slay the Spire map, huh? I'm going to have to eventually check out mod to Slay the Spire. Because I never have gotten into it. But I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm just afraid to get into it because I'm assuming if I get into it, it'll be all I'll be able to play for a while. That's that's my that's my that's my reason for not getting into a lot of games. Like most variety streamers, I feel like don't get very good at the games they play because they play them like a week and then move on to the next game. And I like being able to play lots of different games, but I also like getting good at the games, so... Like, spending a bunch of time on Slay the Spire sounds fun, but I wouldn't be able to play anything else for a while. Uh, Slay the Spire community is a bit bigger than FTLs. They're every bit as friendly. Nice, nice. Well, a bunch of empty nebula jumps, apparently. Um, okay. Uh, reject. Second time we got in that event today. Okay, this guy's weapons are again pretty darn good. Whew! No weapons for you. There we go. Okay. Well, we are definitely the leading crew as we uh, use the uh, speed up. Speed up time thing, so that's cool. All right. Not quite as broken as when Temporal Manipulator came out. And I found that using that plus high level mind control would make it so your character would do so much damage that they would like take no damage. It's some weird, I don't know if it was a bug, but I remember when we first used Temporal Manipulator with high level mind control, high level Temporal Manipulator, it like, was even more OP than I think it was supposed to be. Okay. Oh my god, all these free borders. Uh, he's hacking. Where's he hacking? Okay. Didn't hack my hacking. Come oh, on, failed. Uh, well, okay then. That was an interesting mechanic there. At least I stopped the missile in time. Okay. 
fight is almost safe now. Okay, no more clone bay. Uh, my clone bay is working. Uh, unless... Yeah, this should be fine, this should be fine. It's going back to the teleporter here. Good. Awkward, but uh, I think we're okay here. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Another iron intruder drop. We'll fight him in melee. Is that GG? No. Oh my god, how many crew do you have? Please tell me that's it. Okay, good. Two of two, so we don't have to vent anybody for this. Uh, honestly, you wanted the duration of the temporal to be something like zero, one. I don't know what that means to make it really instantaneous. However, the game just not would not load. So even faster than it's currently going, I guess is what you mean. It settled with one secondary. Oh, 0 0.1. Oh, okay, I'm not using a comma used there. I'm using that being a maybe that's a European thing to use commas instead of periods for decimal places. Okay. Um, what's up, man? Man, it's a really damn rad ship you're rocking. That's thanks to RPG Nerdos. It looks badass. This ship really is looking awesome. Is that, is that a European thing where, to say point, 0 0.1 seconds, you use a comma? That's interesting. I feel like I used to know that that was a thing, but I forgot about that. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how you do it in Poland. Hey, what's up, Vega? Yeah, the coloration is super cool. All right, human. Which human? Hector, get out of here. Hector, get out of here. Uh, it is default in Swedish operating system as well. You are somehow used... To Still used to using the period though. Depends on your laptop with the German keyboard. The numpad has a comma, but all your keyboards with the Swiss layout has a period there. Interesting. It sounds like different parts of Europe use uh, comma versus period when it comes to decimal places, huh? Interesting. Um, I do have a store coming up. I have the shield drone to sell. Yeah. No reconstructive teleport. I'd probably sell automated reloader for that if I had the opportunity. I'll be honest, I might end early today. That whole tiredness thing I'm talking about, I'm kind of feeling today. I hate to get fewer ships in, but. Oh man, I'm so tired. Is lately. I might, I might only do two ships today. Apologies to anybody if I don't get to your ship today. I, I'm, I'm really feeling the tiredness. Um, that is three missiles. Do not like two, two missiles on a bomb. Come on, man. These fucking dodges. Oh, damn it.
Ooh, don't bomb my clone bay. This could be really bad. Okay, all right, we're fine, we're fine. We are fine. I don't know why, but it feels like you're missing something in the Baba is you level. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound strange at all. Pretty sure I was missing things in Baba is you levels all the time. Good, breached. Safe. Thankfully, I had chat to help me. Breached. Very good. Mm. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, man, Rebel Riggers, ugh. Um, I don't want to do this. Hack weapons, board weapons, I guess. There we go, okay. Instantly deletize them. That's a level three heal day, huh? Let me freeze time so we can't repair that right now. There we go. Very good. One thing's weird about the range doing less damage is I feel like when they're running, when the enemies are running out of a room, you don't melee them even when you're standing right next to them. So I'm not sure I like the Mantis Pheromones for boarding, to be honest. Because, like, the range reduction being more harsh than the... or a higher number than the melee buff makes that in general that's a nerf except for the move speed and whatever the other part is to it i forget what the other part is to mantis pheromones okay what do i want to do here power temporal i guess max that out Probably your sanity, depending on how far you are. I don't, I don't get it. Is that a joke? I don't get it. Okay. Ooh, that was some damage. Because of stream delay, I'm not sure what that was in reference to. Um, I don't think we're winning this fight, are we? Okay. Make sure nobody's repairing this. Okay, good. This. Don't breach my ship, please. Nice. Okay. Uh, weapon and power. We have breach missile online if we want. Breach room to keep from repairing. Uh, 
My god, it's non-stop disruptors and riggers. Come on, game. Give me a break. Uh, this is safe fight. No, it's not. We have a fucking drone. Alright, no shields for you. Kill his drone control, I guess. One I meant, I just made him super speed repair the drone control. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. Misclick. And he insta repairs his drone control, that's crazy. Oh, great reward, but it is free stuff. Alright, reinforced NG. This is not. Or Zoltan, I guess. Oh, Canton, you're probably talking about Vegas. Bob is you thing is what that is. Okay, I was confused about what you were talking about there. Okay, as a Bob is you thing. Um. Okay. Well, <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. Okay. That deleting of a system is pretty insane with level three temporal. It's pretty crazy. There's a heavy cloud above your head while playing Bob is You, huh? Yeah. What's the training looking like on these two guys? Yeah, they basically lost all their training except fighting because of all the cloning we've done. Sad for them. Sad for them. Uh, beam them aboard your ship. Free stuff. Nice. Fuel bay, big giant missile, four crew. I don't want to do this. Ah, same thing we always do. Board weapons, hack weapons. The boring, the boring way. But also known as the safe way. Oh, that's a bunch of fires. Alright. Good fight. There's one strong boarding ship. Temporal manipulator is doing work. I miss having cloaking, but... This is going to be a similar build to if we were... Uh, doing vanilla, but instead of cloaking, we have temporal... Uh, excuse me. All right, got our store. Reconstructive, do you exist here? Reconstructive teleport? No. An automated reloader. Mm. Sector are we in? Sector six. Buy all the fuel. Any weapons? No. No weapons. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? 244 scrap, I guess we max our weapons. Well, almost max. I could probably start skipping voiding if I want. Uh, 
skipping boy skipping boarding if I want to with our weapon build. No thanks, Pulsar. Don't need that stress in my life right now. Free stuff, I like that. Okay. Missiles. Hack them. At least we're not running out of drone parts, that's good. Okay, that's good. Please don't be level three. Nice. Actually, it could be level three and uh, I think it's only level two heal by there. All right, very nice. Um, uh, where did the NG go? Which NG? The one that was trying to repair heal bay? He got deleted. Deleted by my breach bomb. How many just we have? Five, four, three, two, one? Yeah, I guess we can do that. Okay, Glaive Beam with three Mantis Converters. Okay, with Clone Bay. Alright, how do I want to do this? Um, triple defense drums here. What am I doing? Okay. Alright, clone bay down, so when these guys die, they don't get cloned, so that's good. Play beam is down. Alright, we're pretty much safe now. Very good. NG error 404, NG not found. How does one even evolve themselves into an NG? Bug, sure. Rocks, maybe, but data. I mean, I feel like with the way our computers and AI are going, it'd be easier to upload our consciousness to a computer than it would be to turn ourselves into a rock. Right? Sounds pretty easy to me. Just become the Matrix. Become the Matrix. Nano machine, son. There's the answer. Secure the free stuff. Nice. Enter perfected DNA banks. No longer loose training. That's interesting. That is interesting. Um, do I like this better than any of my weapons? If there's a fire beam, I'd probably keep it. We're gonna we're basically doing full on crew kill crew crew kill things, so. Uh perfected DNA makes instead of automated reloader. You know what? Let's just play super safe. We won't lose training anymore, and we can't it's impossible to lose crew in the clone bay, so that's all good, I think. Coming a rock is a real disease, your skin calcifies. It's kinda scary too. That's real? Oh man, that does sound scary. Also sounds like an, an X-Men power to have your own rock skin armor. But if it's in real life, that actually does sound pretty insane. Oh, I can internalize that? Oh, nice. Let's do that. B 
beautiful. Oh, I like the internalized augments. That's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, Aquatica. I don't, I just, I don't like Aquatica. It's, well, it's like, it's like abandoned late. I just don't even want to mess with it. Unless I have Aquatica crew to board with, I don't want to do boarding in an Aquatica sector like I wouldn't want to do boarding in an abandoned sector. Oh, pre-igniter, huh? Yeah, I'll take the pre-igniter. Isn't that what the thing is? Wow, that is a very general question. Uh, yeah, that thing is the thing. The thing is the thing, yeah. I, I don't understand your question, I'm sorry. No idea what that is, what you're talking about. Okay, what level filing? Level one, okay, this, this. Or are you talking about the thing, the movie? There's a movie called The Thing, isn't there? Is that what you're talking about? I know not. I've never seen that movie. Um, there is a genetic disease where your body stores calcium in the muscles. You more or less petrify ossify alive. It's horrifying. Holy crap. Oh, The Thing from Fantastic Four is a rock man. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that is true. Wow, I do not want to look that disease up on Google because that sounds terrifying and horrifying. Terrifying and horrifying at the same time. speeding up time because I'll just get them out the door quicker. Although, maybe they won't go out the door now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, since the heel bay was broken. Alright, make sure we're melee fighting. Beautiful. Oh, a free burst laser three. And I do have a pre igniter. Interesting. Alright, no other store. Let's go ahead and get maxed out clone bay. I can uh, heal more per jump. I'm gonna get a free burst laser three. Do I actually want to use that with pre igniter? Man, maybe. I might actually want to use that. Ugh. That is um, pre ignited, actually not terrible. Pre ignited, actually not terrible. Kind of like Flak 2. If you can pre ignite it, it's not the worst. Alright, manly search. We got Clone Bay. Okay. 23 for whatever damage. That's fine. That's fine. Let's find the Breach. My favorite game, Where's the Breach? There it is. Okay. Alright, no clone bay on this boarding ship. Um, his weapons are pretty good, though. Attack piloting, shoot his weapons. Okay, very nice. Come on in. The venting's fine.
Nice. Got the rest of the weapons down. We are not venting these guys very quickly. Take that, Bob, as you. Grats, uh, Vega. I guess that means you finished your level you were on. Beautiful. And now I can clone these guys because they won't lose any training. Because we have perfected DNA banks. Very cool. And speed up time. Okay, um, boop, 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 boop. that's an asteroid field. All right, I'll go to an asteroid field since it's not a pulsar. Hey, rock blue stuff. Oh, reverse ion field I can't use. Okay. All right, go to an asteroid field. Let's get four shield. We're super strong. Don't need to save too much scrap right now. Kind of double missiles, a bomb and a missile. <laughs> the sound of that is so ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Right, we did not kill the yield A. Took out my hacking. No heal bail out. It had you there the entire time. Didn't take advantage of the uh, melee stuff, melee buff. Do, 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 do. I need to fix the teleporter. Um, okay. Wow, why is... I keep getting welcome back to the chat room. What are you doing? Um. Which, why do you keep breaking your own chat or whatever? I see that multiple times every day I stream. Welcome to the chat room. It's like, I've never left. Like, disconnecting or what? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Do I ever raid other FTL streamers when I, my own stream is ever? Might be a good way to build your stream. Uh, yeah, I do it sometimes, Gunther. Um, I mean, I usually raid people who participated in the tournament way back when, like Hollow. Um, who else will be rated? Um, Rakagak occasionally, although Rakagak usually streams before we do, I think. Um, Billy One Kirby we've rated. Um, who's the guy who stopped playing FTL a while back ago? A while back ago? A while back. A lot of people, but... Uh, Necro Rebel, I think we we were raiding fairly regularly a while back. So yeah, I've definitely done that in the past. Actually, no, let's do it this way. You never make it to the end. You're just wondering. Yeah, we we do it. I don't do it a lot of the times because I forget, but uh, sometimes do it.
Besides, I feel like raiding is, it is good to build community, but I'd rather do it to support other people who are smaller stream than use it as a way to promote my stream, you know? I feel like most people who stream a lot of FTL probably have a smaller community than we do, so I prefer to use it to buff other people than to try to, you know, poach viewers off of some somebody else. Although I know um, raiding just in general is a good way to build community, but I'll be honest. Um, I'm not very good at social stuff like that. Raiding to me is a way to get out there meet, meet other people virtually and uh, the reason I hang out on Twitch all the time is because I'm not very good at being social and the idea that they raid you back yeah and you know you have you share viewers kind of thing it's a good it's a good thing and I like it I just I just don't remember to do it very often it's like when you're at your job and you've been at your job six to eight hours, do you want to sit there and do some extra stuff at the end? Even though writing's pretty easy, that's what it is to me. I'm like, all right, I just want to finish and get on to the next thing, you know? <laughs> and when I'm at the end of a stream, I often forget that there's something bonus I could do, like raid somebody, so. Uh, maybe firebomb, but I'd rather get a breach two bomb. I'm gonna not do anything here. But yeah, remembering to ra raid more at the end of a stream is something I need to get better at doing. Okay, let's see here. Let's just make this fight fast by doing this and hacking this. <laughs> Get deleted. Get deleted. Okay. Really good weapons. I have four shields, but... Freaking teleporter, I mean cloaking plus insane weapons. Freaking hell, man. You don't get to have weapons. I don't get to have living crew. Set up a post it note on your monitor like the old folks do. <laughs> Remember to raid. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What just happened? What blew up there? Did I have a drone sitting out there that got exploded? Weird. No, my own stuff can't hit my own stuff. I don't know what I saw there. I don't know, I'll be honest, I like raiding to be a special thing too, so if you do it every stream, it doesn't seem that special, it just seems like, meh. So, I like doing it once every couple of weeks when I remember or somebody reminds me. I like it to be a big event, to be like, oh yeah, let's raid, it's a fun bonus thing to do. I also only like to do it when we have enough viewers that it feels like when the raid will be meaningful. So, I usually like to raid after my hard mode no pause streams if I'm gonna do it so we have a rate of like you know 80 to 100 people or something that's a big deal to a smaller streamer when we raid kind of my idea uh, I don't want to go the oceanic sector okay uh, so we do get a upgrade two four six Maybe I want to get there before he does so what upgrade would I want? Fifth shield, probably. If I can get fifth shield, that would be pretty awesome. Like when your wife asks you if you lock the door, you have a post-it note for that? Cool, cool. <laughs> Just 
attack piloting. Got cloaking giant weapon systems. The only thing that counters my build. I literally can't do anything until his cloaking wears off. Literally can't do anything. Literally. Wow. Okay. If I don't hack his dodge, we don't hit him. With his 5,000% chance to dodge, apparently. There we go. I do not love this weapon system. I got the burst laser three, and then I found a pre igniter. I was like, I guess this will be my weapons. I don't know that I've had much in the way of better options this run, though, to be honest. Much in the way. Uh, did I not have this powered? I don't know. Teleporter 3 and power. Man, maybe I want to do Teleporter 4, actually. Instead of 5th engine as a boarding ship. Might want to do Teleporter 4 for insta-boarding. Build your own 6-man boarding setup. That's probably what I do, actually. Okay. All right, no more weapons for you. Okay, good. I don't want to do too much damage, actually. Uh, I do this. He has anti-personnel, repair drone, and a boarding drone. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. Damn, he actually healed that in time. Yeah, this should be fine, though. I think. Is it fine? Kill that. Okay. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a seven or eight power drone system, holy crap. With the anti-drone drone as well. Uh, the classic BYO6MBSU. I don't know what that means. Bring your own six-man boarding something unit. I don't know. Just like the Rock A ship you were playing yesterday. Burst, burst Laser 2, Heavy Laser 2, Burst Laser 1. Still couldn't hit anything. Yeah. What was the hourglass thing? This is called Temporal Manipulator. Yamosito. That is something that hyperspace enabled a couple years ago, made for multiverse, and some mods use it. It basically speeds up time in a room. So if I speed up time in here, they move really fast. It's got some interesting interactions. Pretty cool system. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do. Let's elitize teleporter. Let's do that. Power for that. Other value points. And I want to have a secondary boarding party of... Actually, I guess the rock dudes is probably what I want to do. Speed up time to kill the beam really quickly. Okay, what value points can we get? Sensors. Uh, backup battery. One of these days you'll get around to adding in hyperspace features to your mod. You keep forgetting how much you can add with it, Zach. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Good extra jump. I don't think we need anything else. I think we're good to go here. Hyperspace scares you to mod with. Yeah. So 
an annoying one. Am I gonna stick around for that? No. Teleporter and hacking are the worst ones for boarding. Um, boarding hacks, I think. Get deleted. Oh my god. That's crazy. That is crazy. Just delete the weapon system. Not enough time. Get wrecked. Actually, let's save positions here. Okay, and 95 scrap gets us what? Get a little extra dodge since we can't get cloaking. Seems good. I don't hack teleporter or hacking, please. Anything else I'm kind of okay with. Even weapons. Backup battery is annoying, but perfectly fine. I like it. Hope you guys move there. Hacking, aren't I? Oh, we got there just in time. <laughs> nice. All right. There we go. Well, we do got to deal with these border dudes, though. Um, those guys are annoying. Um. Yeah. Okay, that did not work out nearly as well as I was hoping. I thought out my weapons were charged. I guess I was wrong about that. Time probably is not good there. You know what I think I want to do? I think I want to stop time in the heal bay when they get in there to kill them in the heal bay. That's probably what I'll do. Do this. Go ahead and go in there. Probably finish them off this way. There it is, GG. Support you there, go here. Very good. Probably one more volley to finish this off, maybe. Ooh. 
we do have a whole laser. Nice. Uh, for example, if you would slow down time in their weapons room, will it take them super long to reload? No. That's what everybody always asks when they uh, first see this thing for the first time. This temporal manipulator does not speed up or slow down weapons. Weapon charging. It only slows down and speeds up time that has to do with in-room activities like healing, cloning, fighting, repairing, putting out fires, that kind of stuff. Does hyperspace fix the issue of not being able to increase base reactor power past 30? Yes. Right here we have... Here, I'll show you right now. This allows you... I think the modder has to make it... Like, turn on that feature. But I could now get up to 35 power, and I don't know what the max is. I don't actually know what the max is. Technology, I know, right? Technology. Um, and I cannot get the extra weapon since I elitized my... Elitized my teleporter rather than my weapons. Okay. Drone control. And I'm going to speed up the drone control killing since I know missile timing works there. <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked. I'm going to make it even unrepairable by breaching it. Unless he, of course, dodges, as usual. Uh, actually... Get these guys ready to run. Good. Oh, does he actually do damage? Almost! Whew. Some clutch dodges kept us from actually taking damage there. Now, one issue I do have is I do not have my control counter, so that's going to be annoying. Level 3 my control phase 1, uh, phase 3, I mean. I know, it's close. Almost took any amount of damage to not be as OP as I should be. I didn't move the pilot out. I'm just going to ignore my control. It's Kazak. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to go. Here. Have these guys go here. Kill the mind control really fast. So then we don't even have to worry about it. Why would you shoot your own guys. Wow, why did that repair so... Oh, it repaired so fast because the speed up. <laughs> awkward. That was awkward. The speed up was still going for a bit longer there. Oops. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're doing more system damage than we're doing uh, Zoltan shield damage because breach bypasses and all the other shenanigans going on here. There we go. All right, poor guys. I'm gonna let them die. GG, zero damage! Wow, we got enough dodges to get zero damage. Reddit engines, kind of. GG cookie time, the Cumulus, or otherwise known as the inst uh, the Warper ship on the box.com. Another amazing ship from RPG. It was a really cool ship. Boarding, wow, 10 gifted subs from Fred. Thank you for that. And Wamabola with 46 months in a row. Holy shnikes.
I'm a bowl. I want to drop in, say hi, then run away again. Work, work, work. All right. Thank you for all the support, my friend. 46 in a month is amazing. 46 in a month in a row is amazing. All right, I'm going to rename at the end, lol. Stop time for mind control. Uh, yeah, I guess we could have done that too. All right. Check that score. 6,076. Not bad. Not too shabby. Over 6k run. Well, that was a fun ship. Super fun run. I'm going to do one more ship. Depending on how I feel after it, I might only do one more run. It depends on how I feel. Um, I can't remember last week if I did Mr. Keese or Zack Dog. I think we did a Star Trek ship last week, so I think we need to do a Mr. Keese, but I also can't remember because I can't keep track. Unless we did both. I also have another ship from Eagle's Eye. So I have like a bunch of different choices. So I might have to look up what we did last week to see what we didn't do and do one this week. But before we do that, I'm a standard church to use the restroom. Y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. We come back, we will play another ship from you awesome people. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs>